Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Dayframe. Dayframe is a photo frame application brought to you by the same people who did HD widgets. It's pretty unique, so let's check it out. So how does this app work? It's really very simple. It's a combination photo browser, screensaver, and photo slideshow application that weaves beautiful pictures on your Android device screen when you're not using it. It does this by pulling photos off a variety of social networks including Flickr, Picasa, or Google+, Facebook, Dropbox, Instagram, and other popular sites. When you use this app, it'll show a photo, slide it around for a moment, and then transition to the next one. What makes it unique are the behind the scenes settings. You can sign into a number of services to pull your own personal photos, or if you've had enough of those, you can choose a number of categories which will populate your feed with photos from others. From there, you can set a timer that'll play the streams as a screensaver when you're not using your phone, interact with the slideshow in a variety of different ways, or ignore all the social networking nonsense and just enjoy the photos. It's your choice. The last thing we'll talk about in terms of functionality is the settings. You can customize it to run only when you want it to between the timer function, the bandwidth settings, the battery settings, and others. The stream will only go when you want them to, and that's pretty nifty. In terms of sheer usage, this app is all about making your device interesting even when you're not using it. You can use this to turn your app into a digital picture frame. If you can think of a reason or a place to have a digital picture frame, then you can include it into the large number of reasons to have an application like this one. Some uses that the developer include are using it at events to show off pictures, using it as a screensaver, as a digital picture frame for your desk or table, and others. It's a very simple application, but you have to get creative if you want to use it for more than the obvious reasons. So here's what we liked. First, the simplicity. You simply sign into your accounts, pick a few categories of things you like, and go. The settings, photo feeds, and other various functions are easy to find and use in the left and right side pullout menus. It is not difficult learning how to use this app. The built-in categories have a lot of interesting feeds for you. This is a great way to view photos of things you may not have otherwise have stumbled upon on your own. It's very well done. The moving photos, the option for social integration, the transition effects, and everything put together make for a high-functioning and visually appealing app and we like that. Not all the pictures are simply one-off pictures that people post. You'll see thumbnail images from link sharing as well, so you may actually find some good stuff to read this way without the tedious scrolling through social networking apps. Once it's set up, it does all the work on its own, which is awesome. And finally, the developers have been amazingly responsive to consumer critiques so far, and new features are already being worked out in response to them. And here's what we didn't like so much. Some of the pictures, especially link shares, come up very low quality sometimes. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it just looks bad. A few people have said that the scrolling pictures are distracting. It's one of our favorite features, but we can see why people who don't need more distraction don't like them. Thankfully, the developers have said that turning off animations will be a feature soon. According to the developers, Daydream integration was turned off on purpose. They had a good reason in that Daydream causes the app to run all night long and the timer function prevents this. However, they have expressed that they may be turning it back on as well. At the end of the day, this application is a huge step forward in the photo slideshow space. It has a great user interface, great options, and it's a fun way to give your device something to do when it doesn't have anything else to do. If you include the upcoming features like transition options, daydream support, and if it ever becomes enabled, Chromecast support, Dayframe will have a feature set that will be tough for any future developer to top. It really is the photo frame app we've all been hoping for, so if you haven't yet, give it a shot. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. You can find a written companion to this video along with the social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.